Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will authenticate Terraform with AWS using the CLI profile we created in the previous lecture. So to start, the first thing I want you to do is open your project folder. I'm going to select file. I'm going to select open folder and I'm going to browse to where I save my folder. I'm going to select my Terraform projects and in that folder i'm going to select my e-commerce website folder and click select folder once you've opened your project folder i'm just going to close this the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a file and we will call that file provider.tf to create that file in the project folder we are in come in this space right here right click anywhere in here and select new file and name that file provider.tf and press enter and we have created a file called provider.tf in our e-commerce website folder so if i open that folder on my desktop so i'll open my folder go to the desktop and i'll select my terraform project and I select my e-commerce website folder and you can see that provider file we create in Visual Studio Code in here. So what this means is when we create a file here, we are creating that file in our e-commerce website folder. So I'm going to minimize this. To authenticate Terraform with our AWS account, open Google and in Google search for Terraform AWS provider and press enter and under the search results I'm going to select this and on this page you have all the AWS resource type that you can create in Terraform on the left side over here so for any resource type you want to create you'll find them here for now all we need is the provider so if you scroll down right here where it says configure AWS provider, we don't need to copy all this. All we need is this. So I'll copy this and I'll go back to Visual Studio Code and paste that in there. So we have provider AWS region US East 1. If you want to operate in a different region, you can change this region but i'm going to be creating my resource in the uss one so i'll just leave this default as uss one the next thing we need to add is one more argument so i'm going to press enter and i'll show you that argument let's go back to the documentation again and if you scroll down on the argument reference the argument we want to add is the profile the profile will allow us to enter the name of the profile we created in the previous lecture. So if you don't understand what any arguments mean, you can read them here in the documentation. So copy this profile and come back to your code and on that region, paste that profile there and press space and enter the equal sign and press space again. And the next thing we are going to enter here is the profile name we created in the CLI. For my profile name, I called it Terraform user. And I'm going to type it in here like this. And this is how you enter it, Terraform user in double quotes. So whatever name you give to your profile in the previous lecture, enter that name here in double quotes. And that's all we need to do to specify our AWS provider and the profile we want to use. The next thing I want you to do is save your file. So I'm going to select file. I'm going to select save all. And once you've saved your file, now we can initialize Terraform with our AWS environment. To do that, we are going to select terminal up here and select new terminal and it is going to open the terminal down here make sure the file part is consistent with where your project folder is on your computer for example my project file is on my desktop 
in the Terraform project folder and in the e-commerce website folder. And that is the part you are seeing here. So while you are in this part, in this terminal, we are going to type Terraform in it. Once you type Terraform in it and press enter, watch what is going to happen. It is going to authenticate Terraform with our AWS environment. And it is also going to download all the plugins Terraform needs to interact with our AWS environment and create our resources. So once you type Terraform in it, press enter. And give it some time. It is initializing. And there you go. It says Terraform has successfully initialized. And you can see that it has downloaded some extra folder and files here. Again, if I open my desktop and go to my Terraform project folder on my desktop and go in that e commerce website folder, you can see that we have some extra folder and files in here. Leave this folder and file, don't delete them. I just want to point them out to you. That is all we need to do in this lecture. We have specified our provider, which is AWS, and we have authenticated with our AWS environment. In the next lecture, we are going to start creating our resources. And the first resource we are going to create is our VPC. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.